Hey guys, welcome to the video series on data engineering on Microsoft Azure DPT DP203. Hope you guys are doing well and staying safe. In today's video, we will see high level data store models for various data types. So without further ado, let's start. So today we are covering these two topics like understand your data and Azure data services. These two topics are not part of the Microsoft official document, but they are really important for designing and implementing the storage in your Azure. And these are easy ones. So first, understand your data. As we all are aware that data comes in different shapes and size, so no single solution fits all the data. Hence, to decide the optimal storage solution for our data, we need to understand the data first. So uh, need to understand the data first means like we need to know what type of our data is it, like whether it's a structured data, semi-structured data or unstructured data and how we will use this data. Basically, what kind of operations we're going to perform on it, uh, what kind of performance we want, like the latency and throughput and the, all those kind of things. So that's once we have the better understanding of our data requirement, then we can choose the data store accordingly. So based on our requirement, we should start considering which storage model is best suited for us. And here are some general considerations. For example, like relational database management system for that Azure have Azure SQL database, Azure database for MySQL, Azure database for Post, Greg, and Azure database for MariaDB. So if you have a OLTP kind of environment, I'll recommend use Azure SQL database. And the next data types is a key value uh, store, which is uh, basically a, a NoSQL kind of database. So for that, there are three services, Azure Cosmo DB API, Azure Cache for Redis, and Azure Table Storage, which is a part of Azure Storage Account too. And the other NoSQL uh, data type uh, database is uh, document database. And for that, Azure Cosmo DB SQL API is enough. And also Azure Cosmo uh, MongoDB API will be good. Uh, the other category is graph databases. That's also a part of NoSQL. So for that, uh, mainly two services. The first one is the Azure Cosmo DB uh, Graph API. And the second one is SQL Server. Like you can store the data in SQL Server too. For data analytics, uh, Azure Snaps Analytics is a good, uh, is the best option. And the Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2, which is part of Azure Storage account. And we will look into that uh, shortly. Column Family Database. If your uh, requirements are column uh, family database, which is also a NoSQL, then go for Azure Cosmo DB Cassandra API and HBase uh, in HD Insights. For search engine kind of databases, Azure Search is available time series, Azure Time Series Insights, and uh, for object storage, Azure Blob Storage, and we can also use Azure Data Lake Gen 2. They're both part of Azure Storage account. And shared files, for example, uh, like your NAS drives, SMB protocols, Azure files is the, uh, is the service available. And this is also part of Azure storage account. And before, uh, before I start Azure storage account and I'll I'll, I just want to mention like uh, there are always like a couple of questions in exams which come very straight from uh, this um, like uh, from Azure data store services like they will uh, tell you okay you have this kind of uh, data so which service you should use it's always like a one or two questions in the exam so it's 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 good to know aware about all these services and where we can use these services for different data types. Okay, as we saw in the last slide uh, that Azure provide many ways to store your data. But 
uh, Azure selected four data services, Azure Blob, Azure Files, Azure Queues, and Azure Tables uh, together, and they place it in um, under a service named Azure Storage. And in that service, uh, uh, we will be mostly, like in this, uh, for DP203, we will be uh, we will be using Azure Data Lake Gen 2, which is uh, nothing which is like just built on top of uh, blob storage. And if you need more information about it, I'm going to provide a link in the description where uh, it explains what is Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2, what uh, capabilities it have more than Azure Blob, and, uh, and, and, and a demo like how to create and all those stuff. So that's all for this video.